nice, nice, nice. And I will just uh, bring this, thing. yeah, we started here. And then we have a uh, new variation for the percussion. I can keep the best best parts, but this is also the, the cool thing was that, I think I started here. Um, there was, I uh, noticed that I was doing con answer with this melody. Um, and that could be these two together are talking to each other. And this one was a really nice compliment. And this could be for the break. Okay, so uh, put a different color. Not orange though. This weird color. And then the break. two notes I like in here which is these three yeah so that's something to keep right here huh okay cool I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna come here and grab all that and We'll bring it over here. Huh, cool. I surprise sometimes, I get surprises uh, like this. I'm gonna just stretch it like that. It's a bit all over the place right now, but it works. this and uh... ha it's even better than I thought okay cool This, and it, this was triggered, so it recorded all the notes, but uh, let's see what it sounds like. This is gonna go, but I like the potential of this. And that should be playing with this part is be like this. Move this and I 
I think right in the middle. Yeah, something like that. I'm not the best at chord progression. And for for a while, um, that was a... I felt really frustrated by the fact that I couldn't expl express myself with, um, with the melodies I had in mind. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have no music theory and you have a sense of what works, what doesn't work, and you try the best out of that. Eventually, you you get better at it, and uh, and then you you make music that is different. But I think it's not because you don't have music theory that you shouldn't stop yourself from exploring melodies. Sometimes it'll be more uh, naive, maybe, but uh, there's a charm to that as well. Let's see now. We have our transition here. I think. This, yeah, this will be okay here. That will be until here. Now at this point, there's a lot of um, speculation of how it could be. Uh, but I will refer a lot to this and um, be... I mean, I'm going to try a few things. And that will be what I can do today. And it's only next time I open it, I'll be maybe removing some elements. It's harder to remove than adding. And usually people get bored and be like, oh, something's missing, something's missing. Uh, but actually, it's not about adding. It's about some, you know, taking off some, uh, some elements. That's the hardest part. Uh, what I do know is that this was there since the beginning and it will be there until the end. So I'm removing this. That's okay. And our melody stuff, I think, would be cool if for just at the end of the break we have this coming. This. And then we're going to repeat our sequence of what we add. Uh, this I'm going to remove. Okay. The bass. The bass is changing. I have to check if that works well. It seems like. very articulate bass line it might be there might be too many notes in there uh, it can get sloppy and messy uh, but I like it I like it so uh, screw it I'm just gonna keep it like that um, sometimes you just go with what you have and uh, this is gonna be a different basis I'm going to different color lighter like this and uh, we're gonna get back to this part here after the break for a section and then back to this again and then on the way out this is gonna come back again until yeah I guess here although this is uh, bit odd place to exit but it will work and and I want to bring this once more after the break here like this and with the outro probably on the exit as well like that I'll chop that up but oh Uh, good old undo. Okay. A 
that's the problem of wireless keyboards sometimes the key doesn't work so what did I say okay here save there we go most important thing ever to save once in a while uh, so we had a chord progression and this thing here was fun weird little glitch and I will copy this here see how it goes with the um, chord progression I don't want this to clash either and that that's done and I'm gonna bring it up there because it happens starts at the same time here just underneath perfect that's clear that's good that's good and yeah okay that's good to filter uh, I like to have yeah this filter ah this was set to minus four so If you do it, it's it's fun, and um, we're gonna filter the entire song just here. So, master section, automation, and uh, low on, just just like that. because it's there's also the 
bass changing, so I'm gonna do a little pause of bass and then it comes in it's comes in differently. tricky sometimes with MIDI. I might convert it to audio just to avoid these things. Uh, okay, that's because it's starting in the middle of a note here. Okay, let's see, right here. Fix that. Want it here, like this. This one, we say we want to change the Oop. and then we want to here. Perfect. Uh, it's just not starting at the right time, and uh, I guess I can. Just come back here. There we go. Okay. I think I will just not play it right away again. I'm gonna wait. A little pause of pad. Always good. This will be good. For delays, I have a lot of them because I love delays. But a good one is the Sound Toys. The Echo Boy does a really, really good job uh, for delay. It's really simple. Um, and I don't know, it just sounds really good. There's tons of things you can do with it. And you just leave it like when you open it just like this. And that's already really good. that. Mm -hmm. 